Hello, we're looking at the posterior surface of a specimen from the upper aerodigestive tract. This includes the tongue, the epiglottis, the supraglottis and the glottis, um, the region of the larynx with the cricoid cartilage, the subglottis, the trachea. And when I turn this round, you can see anteriorly the left lobe, the isthmus and the right lobe of the thyroid gland. And this is the thyroid cartilage. So the main pathology is actually in the region of the larynx. And what we're looking at is a large fungating irregular tumor mass that appears to be involving pretty much um, the supraglottic, the glottic, and a little bit of the subglottic region going upwards to also involve the epiglottis and also involving the piriform sinus. So this tumor has a slightly warty appearance if you notice, and the cut surface is rather fleshy. Just to show you a clearer view of the cut surface here. And moving down a bit, we can see the cricoid cartilage, and the tumour is close to it, but does not appear to be directly invading into this, um, not on this plane. So the cartilage and the posterior part of the trachea have been cut open in the midline, and we can see that the tumour actually crosses over the midline posteriorly to also involve the left side. So the tumours that involve the actual true vocal cords, which you can just about make out here, it's difficult to tell where this tumour started because it's so large now, but the tumours that start off at the true vocal cords will usually present a little bit earlier because the patient will experience hoarseness. On histology, the type of tumour would be a squamous cell carcinoma. So to summarise, we can see a very large laryngeal tumour that appears to be spanning the true vocal cords, the false vocal cords on the right side and extending upwards into the epiglottis and also extending uh, laterally to the piriform sinus and posteriorly across the midline to the left side. And the histology of this is squamous cell carcinoma.